Welcome to an introduction to Japanese candlesticks. If you viewed the videos previous to this one, you would have learnt about price behaviour and how price behaves when it trends, when it uptrends and downtrends, and also how price behaves when markets range. You would have also learnt about how price behaves at the end of a trend or at the end of a range when a range comes to an end. This is the start of a few videos that will look into Japanese candlesticks and how we can use them to benefit us as we trade financial markets. In this video I'm going to give a brief introduction to Japanese candlesticks and how they work. First of all, this is a four hourly chart, so each candlestick represents four hours of time. So every four hours one of these candlesticks would close and another one would open. If we go to an hourly chart, each one of these candlesticks represents an hour of time. For example, the current candlestick we are on opened at 2 o'clock in the afternoon. When it comes to 3 o'clock in the afternoon it will close and a new one will open. We can go to a 30 minute chart or graph and each one of these candlesticks represents 30 minutes of time. We also have daily graphs and weekly graphs. So let's zoom in and have a more detailed look at these Japanese candlesticks. Each candlestick has an opening price and a closing price. The opening price will be the price of the financial instrument when the candlestick opened. So if we were to be trading the pound against the dollar and on the hour the pound to the dollar was 1.6400 exactly. When that candlestick opened it would open at 1.6400. In general speaking the opening price will be a continuation from the closing price of the previous candle. So if we look at some Japanese candlesticks here, if we just look at these last four or five on this chart. On this candle price opened here. On the previous candle price closed here, so on the same level. On the next candle price opened here and price closed here on the previous candle price closed here on this candle and has opened here. So every candle has an opening and closing price and unless the opening and closing price are the same the Japanese candlestick will show a bar. You will have your opening price and closing price and the gap between will be shown in bar format like so. And that's why we have all these bars on these candlesticks. We refer to them as bodies, the body of the candle because the opening and closing price were different and that gap between or the difference between the opening and closing price is shown by a body or a bar. When there is no difference between opening and closing price such as this candle here you'll see there is just a straight line there is no body because there was no difference in opening and closing price. Now on my candlesticks if the closing price was lower than the opening price, my bars show as red, so price has depreciated over the course of the candle. If the closing price was higher than the opening price, then my candles are shown as green, as price appreciated over the duration of the candle. So if we look at some more candles, price opened here, previous candle closed here. On this candle price closes here and we have a green bar because 
price closed higher price then opens after another four hours this is a four hourly chart price closes here price is appreciated again so it's a green bar our next candle opens after four hours opens here closes here another green bar because price is appreciated opens here closes here price is appreciated again the closing price is continually higher and then we have a red candle appear because price opened here following on from the closing price of the previous candle and has closed below or lower than the opening price so we have a red candle up here with our current four hourly candle the candle currently in action price is opened here and you'll see throughout this video the closing price will move up and down because it's currently the current price and when we come to the end of our four hours that current price will lock and it will become our closing price now you'll notice with each Japanese candle there's not just a body there are lines appearing above and below the body the reason for this is these lines give us a footprint of where price was during the duration of a candle so if we take this big candle here that has a nice line above and below the body I'll be able to explain further so price opened here where the previous candle closed and closed here the closing price was lower so we have a red candle price depreciated but we have lines above and below these lines are generally called the wicks hence the name Japanese candlesticks now what these wicks tell us is that price was down here at some point during the four hours or if this was a 30 minute chart and we had a similar candle then price was down here during the 30 minutes and price was also up here but by the time the candle closed price was here so where price was during the duration of a candle the candlestick will leave a footprint or a mark for us using these lines or wicks if we look at our current candle once again price opened here and is currently here but you'll see there's a little line underneath as price did depreciate at some point but is now a lot higher than the opening price Japanese candlesticks can be a huge benefit to traders and in the next couple of videos we're going to look at how they can benefit us